the Pinstripe Bowl. So we're moving from one baseball field to the other. This one's in Yankee Stadium. This one is Virginia Tech against Maryland, and Virginia Tech is a three-and-a-half point dog here, total of 55. The bowl game gifts on this a variety of new era products and a shopping experience at Harmon New York City Store and a Balfour Ring. Uh, I, I guess you just get a ring for participating. I don't, I don't know. Uh, like a ring, like a, a like ring, a, like a class ring, like a class a, ring, wedding a, ring, like remember, a, yeah. Hang on, remember when, remember when, when Butch said to that, to the team, gave them like a championship ring because they were champions at life. Yes, <laughs> like they, they didn't even make bowl eligibility. Like they didn't even win a, they didn't even make it to a bowl game that year. Yes, they couldn't muster up six wins at Tennessee, <laughs> but he gave them all like championship rings for for being champions at life. How insane, boy, right? Is this not nuts? Boy, we are. Listen, I'll tell you this: in the battle of Penn Strike Bowl, Fenway Bowl, give me, give me the Fenway Bowl a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> so the Pin Strike Bowl, the- uh, Virginia Tech. J.C. Price is the interim coach. Uh, he obviously led them to a win over Virginia at the end of the season, but Justin Fuente has been fired. They've had five starters opt out for the bowl game. They're headed to the NFL draft. Uh, Braxton Burmeister also opted out. He would be the sixth, but he's transferring. He just, you know. He decided he's not going to play in this one. Their uh, their quarterback for Virginia Tech, Connor Bloomrick, he's starting. He's only seven of sixteen passing on the year, forty two yards, two touchdowns. Maryland There'll be a lot more than that when this game's over. Yeah, Maryland got just destroyed by all of their you know good competition that they played. Any Power Five team that uh, that had a pulse, you know, typically beat Maryland this year. However, they Maryland's favored by three and a half here. Uh, even all the chaos and whatnot that's going on with Virginia Tech and the guys that are sitting out, et cetera, I still don't think Maryland's very good. I don't know that Maryland should be favored over anybody by three and a half points. So I will take, like, Indiana. As bad as Indiana was this year, they only lost by three to Maryland because that Maryland defense is so bad. I'm going to take Virginia Tech to cover the three and a half here because this is... No no doubt. No doubt. Listen, this kid starting for Virginia Tech, all their fans are going to be clamoring for him to be the star next year because he is about to look like Playing Madden on easy, like it's just it's just going to be cheap. This Maryland football team is not good at defense at all. Their offense isn't great, but the defense at Virginia Tech still has pride in taking the football away, and they will get multiple opportunities to take the football away from one young tongue of Iowa. You have got that right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.